Hi, this is Terry Healy, bringing you some extraordinary transformation. Welcome. Today you're listening to WVLP 103.1 FM and streaming live at WVLP.org. Today's show is brought to you by Ryan Eberhardt from Diamond Residential Mortgage. Ryan brings unparalleled knowledge and service to the business of getting a mortgage. He truly cares about his customers and takes the time to make sure that they understand all of their options. That way they can make the best decisions for their lives, their families, and their wallets. His office is conveniently located on Route 30 at 350 Morthland Drive in Valparaiso, and his phone number is area code 219-707-8429. Thank you, Ryan, for supporting WVLP Community Radio. Today, I am honored to have a guest uh, from Illinois, came across the border to give permission for an interview. His name is Don. And I found my way to Don via Facebook. Uh, He does some pretty interesting posting of some really great motivational and inspirational material. I kind of want to start with that conversation, if that's okay with you. That's fine. Hi, Terry. Hi Thank there. You. Oh, you're very welcome. Uh, so what, just curious, what prompted you to start those kind of posts on Facebook? Uh, it was about two years, two to three years ago is when it started. I think it's in that range. It's, um, I was at my heaviest point in weight-wise and wasn't feeling good about myself. And a friend of mine, I saw her, she's putting out these positive quotes on Facebook and you know, I've seen her transformation. She's looking really good. I'm like, what is going on here? So I reached out. Asked her, you know, what's going on? And she said, oh, I'm doing this. And then she mentioned she's doing this product that, to help her lose weight, but it makes her feel fantastic. So I said, okay, I'm going to try this and see what it is. So she told me that. And I get a little scared. And it's like, well, this is going to cost money to do. <laughs> but it's like, well, I've got to do something. Because I'm not feeling good at all about myself. So I started that. I started losing weight immediately. Started feeling better and better. Waking up every morning. It's like, I'm ready for my day. That's, this is just great. So I started doing positive post behind that. Oh, got it. Okay. <laughs> so, so that kind of was just a, that came out of your journey of losing weight then? Yes. Oh, I see. And what is, so, all right, let's go back. I want to talk a little bit about the weight loss because so many people struggle with that conversation. Yes. Is that the first time that you've ever um, worked at or taken on that conversation for yourself of losing weight? Um, I'd done it back um, when I turned 40. Okay. Yeah, a <laughs> so little moment in time. It was like, yeah, there, and then at that one, I did the nice simple one, and that time, I just did the Atkins diet. Eat, <gasps> eat. Um, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, wasn't that like, like you could eat all the fat you wanted to? Yes, I, just, I just saw a big slab of bacon when you talk about that. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What, did that all the time, walk around hard-boiled eggs in my pocket. So it's <laughs> Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> did, did you peel them, or were they just... <laughs> The, uh, so you did the Atkins diet, so that yes. was quite a ways ago, and yes. then, so right before this time that you said that you picked up the latest program that got you to the place where you are now, yes. um, did you get like to your highest weight, or have you been that weight before? No, that's getting to my highest weight. It was getting scary. I was ready to tip the scales at 300, and I Oof. was, I'm like, no, I look like a beach ball. I, this has got to yeah. end. I'm, I carry it fairly well, bigger guy, worked out somewhat, but... No, this I couldn't carry. <laughs> got it, got it. Well, I imagine that your doctor was probably wagging a finger at you too. Yes. Saying, this has got to go, this has got to go. Yeah, numbers um, were not good. <laughs> okay, so there you were. You, you're very uncomfortable, sounds like, very physically uncomfortable. And you decide, um, and you're more than welcome to talk about the program you use. That's perfectly fine. Okay. We can say anything we want, actually, on community yes. radio. So um, we can even swear, but we're probably not going to do that. Uh, so... So you started you started that. Do you want to share a little bit about that? Sure. Um, so the program is called uh, it's Isogenics. Okay. And what it is, it's a uh, protein shakes, and I use a higher one that's got like thirty six gram of protein into it. Okay. Because I do workouts, so I can try to get that extra protein back in. But that's a full meal. It's about two hundred and fifty calories, or two hundred and eighty calories in that range. But you mix it up with water, or you can put some fresh fruit into it. Like vanilla or chocolate was their standard. They do have a strawberry out, but. Blend it up and drink it down, and it's a nice meal that keeps you satisfied. The other key is water. Mm. We need to drink our body weight in water. So that's a lot of water you got to drink in a day. Oh, (laughs) oh, oh my goodness. I like I would never leave the bathroom if I drank my body weight in water. Wow. You you are going to go a lot, but it's (laughs) drinking a lot of water. So it's, uh, I'm, you know. 
constantly with like the water bottle here. I, I can drink easily a ton of those a day. Yeah, I just keep it. a cup at my desk at work. I'm just constantly drinking water. So that keeps, because most of the time you're not hungry, it's that you're thirsty because we're made up of water. I've heard that. So that sometimes we're just dehydrated. Yeah. And yeah the nice thing with funny. the isogenics products, they also have little uh, the protein bars. They're pretty flavorful. A lemon one, a chocolate one. It's And I don't like chocolate, but I actually like theirs. It's mm -hmm. good. <laughs> so little things like that. And then... um snacks things and then they also do a cleanse part that you can it's optional if you want to do the cleanse so it's, i go for pretty much two days without eating any solid foods oh, i'll wow. follow their cleanse program which is about 400 five four four to five hundred calories it does include squares of chocolate but that keeps blood sugar in check oh uh, gotcha okay and then there's another little um like a sweet tart thing it has really no flavor to it but it's just something else just to keep everything a little bit in check for you and you're just doing some different uh liquid to drink so it's like every hour I'm doing something throughout the day for about eight hours then after that it's just strictly water Got it. first time I did the cleanse it's like wow I'm going through like finish off the first day feeling unbelievably good I'm not hungry I woke up the second day I had so much energy I didn't know what to do with myself <sighs> I'm like I'm gonna go another full day without eating yet but I'm just I'm bursting with energy <laughs> yeah because I'm cleaning first day you kind of like burning off toxins out of you the second day you're just burning fat <laughs> oh wow okay got it so if you get those toxins cleared out it just kind of changes things around for you so when i got that done and second day i'm like oh i got full day of work i blasted through my day of work had fun i got home i'm like what do i do i, well, I pulled out the mop and i polished the wood floors hey <laughs> it's like well this is good for something yeah no kidding. What a, what a, <laughs> who likes to clean but yeah. it's just i needed to burn the energy that's and, wow what a fringe benefit like i wouldn't have yeah, expected that yeah so then on the next morning, I'll wake up, and I have that first shake. So, so then like you go back it, to the protocol. So then I'll go back to my protocol of a shake for breakfast, a shake at lunch, and then when I dinner is anything I want. Okay. So the best thing about this, you know, call it a diet, lifestyle, however you want, but never deny yourself anything. If you walk up and you see a big old piece of cake and you want it, eat it. Oh, Oh my goodness, so because, this allows you to do that? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. There's no restriction. It's The restriction is yourself. If you really want to lose mm. weight, as with anything, you keep your calorie count down. And if you, for a man, if you maintain about 1,400, 1,500 calories a day, you're going to lose weight. Oh, yeah, no kidding. You know, a woman says at 1,200, they're gonna, you're going to lose weight. But you can, at the time, you want that piece of cake, eat it. Because when you're doing the product naturally and going with it and following it, it just works. And it makes you, and not so much with the weight loss, but it leans you out too. I became much more lean out of it. So it, it, it. So you're losing like fat weight versus yes. okay. Yep. Gotcha. Gotcha. So it's uh, it works all the way through there, but it's just overall. And after the first year of using the product, and I went back to the doctor and did my blood work, he just got the numbers back. He just looked at me and he said, "Whatever you're doing, don't stop. Yeah, your numbers have never been this good." He always was a little suspect on some of my, you know, cholesterol was never bad, but it had dropped 40 points. Mm -hmm. And it's, so it's like, okay. <laughs> but he got a little, he'd always double test me on the, the liver enzymes or something like that. And he goes, no, he goes, he goes, your numbers are phenomenal. <laughs> wow. Now, and, how long has this isogenics, isogenics yeah. been around? Um, I think around, uh, it's, I want to say they came back maybe 20 years, maybe longer than that. Oh, so quite a I think a it's been a ways. It's always been a marketing thing that you know they get it out to the people and you know as i get the product i'm on it then i people say what are you doing and i refer them and i, I can sign them up Got and it. you know i'll get residual back for that and so it's a little benefit for me so that's back to you know we loop back around my quotes it all kind of ties together but it's just how i was feeling from it it just it's transformed me a lot <laughs> so that yeah it sounds like it. Oh, i can't even imagine this but the i think what's curious to me is that you're talking about the cleanse days, and I kind of get a, my head wrapped around that, and I would think it would be, like, really uncomfortable. Like, yeah. I can imagine, like, having a hard time not eating. and. Uh, it can. Let's say yeah. the first one I did real well, then I did another one, and that one, I got a case they call the hangry. Where you're hungry oh. and angry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, I've done that girl before. Uh, and it just doesn't matter. Anybody could just look at you, and it's just like, stop, and don't look at me. <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. So it's just like, you know, you're getting bitter because you're not realizing you're that Nasty until someone says, you know, right. hey, you're being ugly. <laughs> Somebody checks you at the door. <laughs> Excuse me, could you send the, the nice guy back yeah, in? Yeah, I'm direct on everything I do a lot. It's always been that way. It's just something I inherited. Yeah. <laughs> but it's it's even worse if I get that case of that hangry. <laughs> right. 
right? I get that. So yeah. now, how often do you do the cleanse? Uh, it's just periodical when I decide if I'm feeling, start to feel sluggish, mm, okay. I'll do it. Or if I'm into, I did a contest at the gym, it was a 60 day challenge. And so part of that, I thought, I'm going to do some cleanses. So I do that and I wound up finishing fantastic. And that one, I, out of my local gym, I was in third place. And then mm. nationwide, I was 99th. <laughs> Ooh. So I'm like, oh, this is pretty good. Yeah, no kidding. I just put an extra push. But I go to the gym consistently Monday through Friday. I get up at 4 a.m. And on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I do a boot camp class. Oh, my. And Tuesday, Thursday, I do my own. And my latest challenge to myself is the Stairmaster. I always hated that machine. I just always felt that's where you hang clothes. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. I've had that. I've had that machine yeah. in my home. So I have a goal of... Hitting 200 flights within an hour. So as of last week, I got to 125 flights in a half hour. (laughs) Oh, I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine. It it hurts. Yeah, yeah, I can. (laughs) Yeah, I can imagine. But and do you see the benefit of that? You yes, I. uh, It's a 54 and. I feel great. Yeah. Well, you look great. I still can't bounce around like a you know, twenty-year-old, but no. I think I'm in better shape. I know I'm in better shape than I was when I was thirty. <laughs> yeah. Right. 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 But that's amazing. That is it. So yeah. you you then are kind of just using this program still then, and you probably are always going to do that. I'm going to guess. Um, yeah. Right now, I, I just like it. It feels yeah. good and it satisfies me. So it's, those are my separate meals for the day and. I enjoy it. It's portable. I can take it anywhere I want. All I need is water. Right. That's handy. <laughs> so the little package, it's portable. And <laughs> What happens when you go out? When you go have dinner or you're around um, people that are drinking or things like that? Uh, I, if I want, my, I'll have my drinks. <laughs> and you do it. <laughs> and I drink and I have my martinis or my beer. And okay. I don't have no, if I, and then I'll sit there and look and get the dessert coming. And if I want that piece of cake, I'm going to eat it. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. You know, it, and I guess it surprises me that you're able to put some real life stuff into it and mm-hmm. like actually function like the rest of us and yeah. still and still maintain and still do well. Yeah, those people tease me. It's at work or something. They have lunch ins and I'm like you never eat. You never eat food. I'm, I do eat food. I yeah, eat a just, lot of food. I just I pick and choose when I'm going to eat it. Right. You know, I'm not afraid of pizza. I'm not afraid of French fries. I'll eat it all. It's matter of what time of the day, if I'm going to do it at breakfast or lunch. Sometimes I'll have two full meals in a day and one shake. It, wow. And it you're still... It goes right back into check, and I can still maintain that the was weight the, loss yeah. and maintain the feelings that I have. So it's it just works. <laughs> so let me ask you this, because um, I know sometimes when we, when we start losing weight, uh, we find that we use food sometimes to maybe not feel certain things. So did you find that as you started to shed weight that you became any more less tolerant of things or maybe more emotional at certain times or anything like that roll up for you? No, not really. It's um, mm-hmm. I was just enjoying how I was feeling and looking in the mirror and being happy at what I was seeing. <laughs> right, right. Well, I think the feeling, how you felt about yourself yes. must have been pretty amazing. It, to... was, it was huge. Yeah, yeah. I was feeling just like, ugh. <laughs> Right, right. Well, I think we can all identify <laughs> yeah. with that. I think we all go through phases of that. Mm-hmm. Um, what surprises me, I guess, is that, you, that you're that you still on. Because, you know, we, there's so many different things out there, and a lot of people will pick something up for a minute, they'll accomplish a certain goal, and then they, they move out of whatever that protocol is. Yes. You know, it no longer fits in their daily world, you know, where they can operate as regular people yeah. and still maintain it. So do most of the people around you, are they like that as well, that they stay on for long periods of time and continue to work with it? Yeah, there's quite a few then in the group on there. There's a private Facebook page. It's all listed on there that have the people okay. that are on there. So we always communicate with each other and talk and ways you can build the business. And it's like, you know, am I going that direction? I don't know at times. It's right. Right. <laughs> I'm content and happy with where I'm at and what I'm doing with it. And if I can share it with somebody and help them and, you know, be a coach to them if they're doing it, more power. I'll, I'll help you. <laughs> right. It's, but it's just a, you just really got to be more dedicated and your mindset and that's what you want and if you want to maintain it and keep it gosh who wouldn't want to do that and so my benefit is that's how i feel how i look and i just love that feeling yeah i got it <laughs> what uh is there anything that surprised you I mean, have come having come to the other side of that about how you're feeling or how your day-to-day is um it's just nice it's feeling this it's Instead of not, you know, get up in the morning and, yeah, I don't want to do anything. I don't feel like doing this. But now I don't have that. It's 
Well, it feel it, it kind of looking at it and hearing and listening to your story, it kind of makes me seem that to me it feels like not just about losing weight. It's about actually creating like you could have lost weight in other ways, but I don't think you would still yeah. get the quality of life that you're describing to me. So that's kind of what's different in yeah. that I hear. Is of course we meet tons of people. Yeah. We've all been that person who's lost a yeah. lot of weight, but that energy level and all those are the things that you're associating with it isn't normally part of the process. So yeah. that's a wonderful thing. Yes. Um, I'm going to break. I just want to thank everyone. You're listening to WVLP 103.1 FM and streaming live at WVLP.org. Thank you, Don, again, for coming in from uh, from Illinois. I know it's not too far of a drive, but it feels like you're coming across into another world when you pass the border between Illinois and Indiana. <laughs> so um, so you've been sharing uh, so much generous, generous information about the program that you've used. And tell me again, how much weight have you lost total? I've lost uh, 60 pounds in total, okay. and inches, I've probably lost close to 60 inches overall. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Sorry, that's, I just got that. <laughs> that's a lot of you. <laughs> so that's, yes, that is, it, was, it was a lot of me. <laughs> yeah, that no, we don't know, we no longer have the benefit yeah, of enjoying nice, anymore. Yeah, you know, when I was creeping up to that 44 to 46 inch waist, and now I can slide into a 36 comfortably, it's like... <sighs> That's a wow. good feeling. <laughs> That's a completely different person. Yes. Yes. It's, when I look at some, I had some old clothes and I had them and I just laugh and it's like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, right. And then, <laughs> why do you keep the old clothes? I don't have many more. I finally you know, got rid of every, yeah. pretty much everything there. So it's just kind of funny. But it's I had them for a while just to look and it's just like, I think it was a blanket just in case of it. I, mm. I, I fall off this program. I don't want to get rid of their good clothes. <laughs> right, right, right. There's a lot of money there. A lot of good times yeah. in those clothes. So even now, I'm still shrinking out of clothes. I've got stuff in my closet. I'll go grab it. And it's like, the oh. shirt all of a sudden looks like a tent on me. It's like, okay, because with the workout and doing the program, I'm getting more lean, building more muscle mass. So it's completely changing the definition. And it's like, okay, mm. I really like that shirt, but... So your body weight is staying pretty stable, but it's yes. because you're structurally you're you're transforming. Yes. Yeah, I got that. Now you said other people can uh, can say to you, "Hey, what are you up to? What have you been doing?" Mm -hmm. And then you're able to help facilitate them to use the same product and yes. things like that. Hey, I can recommend your... you know what to start with. They get different packs and different ways to start it, and you know just look at the person. What do you want? What are you looking to gain out of it? And I can start trying a simple pack, medium size one. But I try to get them to get on a pack because it gives a little bit more product, a little bit more mixture, so they can try a few different mm. things. Well, you, I mean, having been through it, you know what's probably what's probably more likely to be successful than what's not. Yes. You know, it's kind of like, kind of makes me think of like going into something kind of half baked. Mm -hmm. You know, pick a little, choose a little, yeah. and you know, you probably don't have the same traction that you're going to get as if you go, let's just take a breath and get all into yeah. this and yeah, go ahead. Just, yeah, you say you sign up on there. They do have a yearly fee it's like $29 a year that you pay to stay on yeah. there but it's you nothing. get on the website you order everything you do an auto ship so it just automatically every month it's just going to come to your door whatever you have on that auto ship um other things they have a isobody challenge you can just enter this channel anybody can enter it top prize is ten thousand dollars and you're featured on their website for a year wow and well you, good for and you, you and good for them free, you get a ton of free product nice so it's you know it's real nice and it, so you enter it and it goes for 90 days, and you can even, um, even if you're not, you're not winning, but you put your measurements, put your weight in there, and at the end of the 90 days, when the challenge is over, the judges do all their thing, but irregardless, you get $200 in free product. Oh, That's nice. a coupon for $200 that you can spend on product. Well, it sounds like they really want you to do the challenge. Are you yeah. doing the challenge? Yes. As soon as one expires, I join another one. It's like, it's free two hundred dollars. So they just keep re. They can just keep re-upping them. And, yeah, re and you get a t-shirt too. So hey, and the t-shirts always say, you know, transformations are for everybody is one of them, and it's you know different sayings on the shirts. Oh, cool! So Some motivation, and it makes people question. I wear it to the gym. And they're like, what's that? <laughs> very, very. Yeah. Well, there you go, and then you so, get more interest in it. Yes. Um, is there anyone that's come to you to say, "What are you doing?" has signed up for it on their own, and are you watching anybody else go through this? Yes, I've had um, about five or six people have signed up. Um, currently, there's still two that are still maintaining it. Wow. And they've been going for a while on it, and they love it. One girl was off for a year. She had some trouble at work, but then she just rejoined up. She goes, oh, I miss this so much. She loves the cleanse. 
Yeah. <laughs> she goes, I just really? love how I feel when I do a cleanse. <laughs> well, what surprises me is you. what I expected to hear. When you hear mm-hmm. cleanse, I mean, obviously yes. we have some things in our heads about that conversation. Yep. <laughs> but is the, the level of energy that you, mm-hmm. that was surprising. I didn't mm-hmm. expect that. Um, I expected a lot of hungry, which you said you went through the yeah. second cycle around, and a lot of a lot of trips to the to the washroom. That's yes. kind of where my head goes when I hear cleanse. So it's a different conversation. Well, it has to, I would think, be a little bit motivating to watch other people find success with this as well. The yes, ones that you've it seen. is. It's um, really rewarding watching transformations on people. And as I get to the Facebook page, and that's why if anybody comes to me and asks, I'll get them on that Facebook page, welcome right. them out there. Right. And then they can see and read everybody else's story, and everybody will welcome them, and just it's a big little love fest of hi, yeah. You know, everybody just feels so good they want to share it. Right. And you know, I have another friend out there that he made, he won the hundred pound club. He lost cool. over a hundred pounds, and it was like wow, wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he like stood side by out. side before and after, and he's like, look at this. <laughs> yeah, isn't that that's a great stuff? Yeah, I think that I think that inspires a lot of people. If if you're not inspired, you're, I don't know where mm-hmm. your head's at because that's usually the best thing is yes. to see somebody else uh, achieving that kind of stuff. And I think that, I don't know, I think it makes it more doable for us yep. if we see somebody else achieve it. Um, so that's a that's a cool thing that you get to inspire people and then kind of watch them along their journey. Do they reach out to you too to kind of get a little bit of back support or are they just kind of off and running? And well, They'll reach out every now and then. It's um, I set them up pretty well. I give them a list of things and say, here, do this. Here's some foods you should always eat, foods you should try to avoid. Mm. You know, you have certain <laughs> things that's you know, you get a little bit too much of the wrong things in there that's still going to offset you. But if you follow it and once you get started and rolling along, you just all of a sudden you know what you want for you and what works for your body. Mm, got it. But okay. I'm always there to be kind of like a little health coach or whatever I can be for them. It's or just support. <laughs> well, and I think you know to say that that's what what connected me to you was the supporting things that you post on Facebook. Mm. Um, and I, you know, I have to tell you that what surprised me and probably made me think about you a little bit more was that you're a man, and here you are. <laughs> providing this inspirational material. And I think with women, we're more quick to do that. Uh, with men, it's a little bit more rare, and it seemed to be consistent. You know, mm-hmm. so I kept watching watching you do that. Uh, what? It, how often are you posting on Facebook? I post Monday through Friday. Wow, every day? <laughs> every day. I, after I finish my workout in the morning, <laughs> so I'm doing my workout at 5 a.m., and then I'll swim a little bit after my workout, and I get ready to go to work, and I walk out to my car and as I'm just waiting <laughs> sitting in the car for I'm going to drive off I pull up and I say oh here's my quote for the day <laughs> gotcha gotcha wow and I you know but I guess then this could just be me but in my world I think my goodness it would be hard to find enough content to be able to say I'm going to do this every day yeah. does it yeah, hurt for you to find stuff? no it's um I just browse around on the internet just looking at different things and all of a sudden something will just grab my attention and I say oh I kind of like that I can relate to it myself so I'll save it. You know, right. so I don't use that one. So I might have a couple you know, saved on the phone that I can just randomly use at any given moment. And people send them to me. <laughs> oh, now that's handy. That's handy. That kind of gets over yes. some of the hump of, yeah. how am I going to fill the day? How am yeah, I going to post it by the I generally can find enough to, I can, just from my browsing around and different things that I've seen, I can fill content for months. <laughs> Well, and it's interesting because what I do like about what I see you post, because I'm not I'm not on there every day or going through the entire stream of, of people posting, but is that um, a lot of a lot of the stuff that you post is positive. It, it's definitely inspiring, but it's more realistic. It's not a lot of the kumbaya is what I call it, the kumbaya <laughs> stuff that you see where people are posting. You're like, yeah, not in my world. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I don't know anybody's world that that's going to apply to, but it's really nice and fluffy and look at the pictures in the background. So your stuff seems to be more realistic, more, um, and it just seems to cover a little bit of a wider scope. Do you find that you're posting that way too, or is that just my experience of what I see? Of- uh, no, I think that's what it is. It's I, When I see the different quotes out there or something like that, that I, and if I'm relating to it somehow or another, that's what makes me think. This is yeah. This why not? This works. So Sometimes I look at them and say, "I'm not sure." And those are the ones that surprise me because those are the ones that I also not get everybody loving it. <laughs> oh, is that funny? So the ones that the ones that you're not sure about, what what is it that makes you think you want to post those? I don't know. I just feel like I have to. It's mm. just it's just 
kind of I like read it. And I'm looking at it. I know I, it means something. I'm just not grasping it. And then after I post it, I get to see all the comments. Okay, now I get it. Yeah, <laughs> I got it. So, um, so it, it sounds to me it's more of like a, a gut check. You know, yes. yeah, your gut just goes. <laughs> I don't know what it is about this, but it needs to go out there today. Yep. Today's the day for that. Uh, how cool it is that people send you content. And I wonder, it's almost like if they're just kind of peripherally jumping on the bandwagon and thinking, isn't that kind of cool that he does that? And I yes. want to be part of that. Mm -hmm. um, and I also wonder too, do you think, is there possible that, that somebody's feeling those feelings that you feel like I need to share this, you know, this, this moved me today mm -hmm. and let's, I need to get it out. So let's just use mm -hmm. Don. Yes, it's um, definitely. Cause it's when I don't, when I don't post on the weekends for a while, there's a couple of people that were posting positive quotes for me. Oh, stop. Oh, <laughs> is that funny? They were me on it and saying, here, Don, we'll do it for you. Uh, so, How neat so is it's that? Like, oh, okay. yeah. Then that's when I started realizing, okay, this is kind of odd. And I didn't realize it was having any kind of impact on anybody. I'm just right. throwing stuff out there and that. And then I'll get messages if I don't put a post up. You know, it's, I missed your post today. Yeah. Did, what was it? And I'm like, oh, I didn't put one out. <laughs> so it's like, wow. okay, I'm, there's different impacts. Or I'll get a lot of messages saying, thank you. I needed that today. It just worked. Something was wrong and it just, just made, changed my whole perspective for the day. <laughs> I've got to think what an incredible thing that is for you to be getting that kind of a message mm -hmm. from somebody. It is. I did, never expected it and it's not what I was looking for. And I didn't believe it until people were telling me, you know, well, all your minions that are following you. And I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> the guys are teasing me and I'm like, I um, have no idea. I'm not thinking about it being you know mushy or anything here. It's just... Something putting out there. There's so much negative going on. Why not start your day with a positive? <laughs> I think you're right about that. Now, is that is that connected to why you do it at five o'clock in the morning, or is that just happen to we happen to be the? Logistics? I feel real good. <laughs> oh. Amazing. It's after my workout, I can conquer the world, and gotcha. This is what I'm going to walk my day into. So it's about your headspace. I mean, Let's at that time, why you there. post at yeah. that time of the day. It's interesting that you say start your day that way, because hmm. it just made me think of what the difference would be for somebody if they were reading that first thing of their day, mm -hmm. it might not be a 5 a.m. like yours, yes. or 4, <laughs> um, but versus getting it at 10 o'clock at night, yeah. what the difference would be yeah. for people to get That's, that kind of... I'm sure there's a big impact there. It's If you go through a whole day being aggravated, it can help at the end of the day seeing something nice. <laughs> yeah, but, I believe that. And then um, starting it out that way, it's... That's why I get some messages, too. It's like I always look forward every morning. This yeah. is how I start my day. <laughs> is looking to you. Yeah. And looking to your posts. Yes. I'm going to break and say thank you to our listening audience. You are listening to WVLP 103.1 FM and streaming live at WVLP.org. So the Facebook stuff, obviously, I want to kind of keep drilling down on that because it's a fascinating thing. Um, can you tell me, is there anything like that's been surprising, any kind of a response that you've gotten that has not been what you expected to some of those posts? Um, no, it's just, I think the biggest surprise was just uh, when, <laughs> if I don't post. <laughs> oh, right, with people going, it's hey! Like they're, it's like they're almost mad at me. <laughs> yeah, it's good. yeah, I pictured like, you know, when you the, the masses are outside shaking their yeah. fists and, you know. Because I think it's still kind of... It's, not real to me. I, I don't know. So it's or humbling. It's just like, wow, this I'm really having an impact somewhere, and I never thought that was going to come out of it. But it's kind of a nice feeling, though. It's I feel kind of rewarded. It's like, oh, if I help somebody get out of a rut or something, then this is good. Right. I think that's amazing. It doesn't hurt anything. It's like, say, because we look around our world. You watch the news long enough, you're just going to be like, yeah. and everything that's going on. And well, here, let's just change it. Can one person change it? Yes. <laughs> I believe so. I believe so. Do you? Uh, how many people do you think are watching what you're doing out there? I'm not sure. I have only X amount of friends on Facebook, but evidently those that weren't friends were able to hear about it. And I guess you know, you can go in there and look and see my posts. So, <laughs> or I think you can share them. Do you ever yeah. see if they're sharing your stuff? Yes, I have seen that. Some people will sit there and share it, 
Mm-hmm. And then other times I'll be going through Facebook and all of a sudden I'll see my post. They just copied it. Oh. <laughs> they didn't share it. They just took it. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, oh, they pirated it. Yes, they pirated it out. And I just yes. laugh. It's, I'll hit a like on it right away. <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. Well, you got to reclaim it. <laughs> or sometimes they'll even put a comment. I really love this. I'm stealing it. <laughs> oh, there, well, you know, at least that's polite. I mean, I yeah. think just copying and taking it is yeah. a little, that doesn't have as much credibility. What uh, Do you ever think about doing anything besides the Facebook, like putting it out in any other forums or social media? I have um, certain quotes I've seen sometimes as um, I've popped them on LinkedIn. Oh, okay. Got it. So got it. it. Just, sometimes it just kind of fits out into the working world, you know, what defines mm-hmm. success or something like that. It was just, just about success and it was just a long path and it just... Just a neat picture and just look good. And say, yeah, this everybody at workplace needs this. <laughs> right. Well, I think everybody needs that everywhere. But yes. <laughs> um, interesting that you would use it in LinkedIn. I could mm. see where that would dovetail in, mm. you know, because that's more of like our workaday employment yes. occupational forum. But do you ever get any response from that? Um, there's been, you know, hits of likes on it or been a ton of views. I know the one post I had, it had well over 200 plus views. So, and it's still getting viewed today and whenever. Oh. So it's... That's it pretty just neat. Goes up there, so it's like, yeah, it's kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, it's neat. I I love that it's getting some traction. Yeah. And that it's getting some attention. What do you think you're going to keep doing it every Monday through Friday then? Yeah. No I don't plans see any of stopping. Reason, yeah. yeah. I don't see any reason to stop it. It's no. <laughs> how I'm feeling, and it helps my gets my day rolling, and I'm making somebody else's day. And well, I think you are. Is it? And I. I don't know. It's always curious to me. I think that we we impact people and we don't even realize that we are. And this is like a good example of that, Mm. you know, because who would have thought that, you know, you're over in Illinois and I'm sitting over here in Indiana and I'm looking at your posts and here we are never having met, uh, but that there was something about whatever you shared that day that actually made me stop and think and Mm. applied it to my life. So... Mm. Uh, there's probably tons of me that don't bother to contact you or to write you a note or to give you a like or a thumbs up or whatever we do on social media. Uh, do you ever have any visions of taking it any farther than what you're doing or just kind of content with where you are? Um, I haven't really thought about it. You know, Maybe now I'm thinking more since when you reached out to me and we were talking, it's like mm-hmm. maybe there is something else. There could be. You know, it's, mm-hmm. I guess i got to dig down and think, where do I want to take it? Do I want to stay on this path or... Why stay on the path? There's right. there's more paths to go down. <laughs> well, I think that um, well in my my world there's no irony to anything. So uh, this is going to actually give some exposure. And once we share this, then you're able to if you want to take this interview and put it out there, you're welcome mm-hmm. to do that as well to mm-hmm. kind of give some more people some more background to yeah. who you are, <laughs> and what actually created the whole conversation for you. Yeah, you know why you did it. And, um, this is that's, definitely stuff you could have kept between your own two ears, but you chose not to. Yeah. And that's that's interesting to me. That's <laughs> it, yeah. Not yes. only that you're that you're, what you share, yeah. but that you shared. Yes. That's, so I do, you know, I just, just turned into part of just me now. It's this is who I am, what I want to do, how I feel, and I have a form that I can share it in. Right. And I don't have to be in the corner being shy and hiding from it or who's gonna say what. I I don't care. That's it. Think yeah. what you want. Yeah, there's a lot of people. Make, I just got to run with it. <laughs> Do you know, then that, so two things. One is, um, it makes me think of, have you ever thought about maybe blogging or creating some sort of a personal website that allows us to go a little bit farther? Or uh, I never have. I could probably look into it. Okay, you're probably going to think about it on the way back to Illinois now. It's like, what can I do? What can I yes. do with this content? You know, and how do I, how do I grow it? Um, it just, I don't know. My heart says, and just working with tons and tons of people, that who you are by nature that created what it is that you're doing and this wonderful contribution you're making, um, there's growth there. And that's a unique thing. It's not. It's a very rare thing. Uh, it's one thing for us to have really great days and really great inspiration, but the, the act of sharing it, and I know... To you, it may feel like a simple thing to be sitting in your car yeah. after a great workout and swim <laughs> uh, to, to share some information, but that's actually a very huge thing that you do that. Right. Yeah. Thank you. It's... Yeah. Versus <laughs> just letting it rock your world. Yeah. Um, my, I guess another question that I would ask too is somebody had said to me, you have to be careful because sometimes people that aren't into what you're into or up, mm-hmm. aren't up to the sharing may actually give you any backlash. Have you ever had anybody give you any hard time or? No, just a general you know? prodding from a couple of the guys. Yes. Okay, that's a hard time. <laughs> and, 
I'm just like, well, whatever. I think you're probably just jealous because all the women are following me, not I, you. I was just going to say, whoever said, whoever's calling us minions, don't be hating. Because yeah. some of us are actually really nice, cute little minions who, you know, yeah. good dancers and great company for dinner. So, so they're, they're, just, prob- they're just giving me the grief because they're jealous. Yeah, because they don't have any minions. <laughs> yes. Or even a minion. <laughs> One at all. Um, that's interesting. Well, yeah, they probably don't know what to do about that. You know, they probably don't know what to do with you on that. Well, I'm yeah. glad that you're not getting any negative feedback because sometimes um, sometimes I've found people can be put their own conversations and their own headspace into whatever it is that you're doing. Yeah. So uh, I know, like, just recently I was speaking at, to a room uh, full of businesswomen in Indianapolis, and part of what I do is I speak and then I ask for feedback in a written format and got all this great feedback. You know, these women were really moved by what I was sharing and then I had emailed one uh, one of the gals later to follow up, and she'd emailed me back and said, actually, I have to tell you that I found your work extremely depressing. Oh. <gasps> and it was like, oh, my gosh, <laughs> take the knife out of my heart. You know, this one woman out of 300 got depressed yeah. over what it was that I was sharing and, and took it that way. So we just have to kind of sometimes maybe gauge and know that people are bringing their own headspace yeah. to the conversation. Um, I'd love to see you go farther with this. I'd love to see you do more with it. I don't know that... Um, I don't know that you necessarily have to figure out what it's going to end up looking like, but maybe just be opening, opening up a little bit to exploring what it could look like. I think that's a great idea. Really? It's (laughs) yeah. I think, uh, I think people, people really enjoy people that blog. Uh, and I don't know, have you ever blogged? Is it something Mm. foreign? Never have done it. So, (laughs) okay. All right. Uh, well you can do it in a variety of different ways, but, um, I, I video blog. It just, I tried writing and I'm a good writer and that sort of thing. But I found that once I got in front of a camera, it was like, you know, hit the lights, get the top hat and the cane. <laughs> it was, that was my way of doing it. And it actually keeps it, it actually keeps it more crisp for me because you can yeah. only keep people's attention for <laughs> such a period. There's a very yeah. short window of time. So if I start rolling up at three minutes, it's like get the, get the hook and pull her <laughs> off the stage is what needs to happen. Um, if you were going to, if you were going to explore that and my heart says, you're probably, probably going to start thinking about this stuff now that we've had this chance to talk about it. Um, do you have a preference of how you'd want to put your information out there? I mean, if you were going to start blogging, mm, I'd probably have to sample it and see, you know, if I just blog out there and just put the words out there or if I, like you said, do it as a video. I don't know. I can mm-hmm. probably sample both and see what feels better. If there's any comfort or any discomfort and. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know. It's I like change, so I'm not afraid of trying things. It's wow. I'm one okay. of those rare ones that really enjoy change. <laughs> yeah, like and so for those of us you're hearing us audibly, and I just express a surprise expression all over my face. I was like, oh, look at that! He likes change. You know, just the older we get, we don't usually like it. So uh, it's against our nature. Mm-hmm. Usually, we get, and that's a brain thing. That's a brain physiological <laughs> thing that goes on with us, um, and how our brains fire off, but. Uh, I'd like, I'd love to see, I'd love to see an exploration. I don't know if this resonates. So we're just kind of kicking it and brainstorming together while we have each other is, um, is it possible that there are, is some, some really cool stuff in you that isn't necessarily the sharing of another person's insight, but more of a, here's what's going on between Don's ears. And I'm wondering if that's not something that, that can be coming up and expressed in blogging or however you do it. Um, yeah. That's always possible. I just, yeah, because you know, you know, pull out of the comfort zone a little bit. But. All right. Well, you know, it's all about stretching and growing. Yes. You know, and and so kind of what kind of what I've gotten about you, and this is this is our first time actually being together and spending time yeah. and getting to know each other, is that there has to be something pretty profound within you that actually, again, pulls you to post those things at 5 o'clock in the morning versus just keeping it in your own world and isn't that nifty. Mm -hmm. So there's something about your core that's coming out and wanting to express and wanting to connect and share and impact the world of people around you. It's big stuff. It's big stuff. And and you take it so lightly and you're so (laughs) humble about the whole thing that it's a matter of like picking up something inspirational and just posting it. There's a bigger thing underneath all of that. And so the other part of me says, well, here's Terry, this yeah. is the coaching <laughs> Terry coming out, I can't yeah. help myself, is that 
the part of you that gets triggered when you see something inspirational and you think, I'm going to share that today or I'm going to keep it in my phone because I'm going to share that in the future, is that there's something about you and inside you that's getting like um, triggered, connected, poked, hmm. uh, fired up. There's something hmm. in you. So it's that's, I think, what leads me to think that there's something about within you. There's something in your head that's going to be starting to roll up and out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can I agree there? <laughs> oh, yay! <laughs> okay, I love to be right. That's one thing. However, what's really neat um, and what's really profound to me is that is that you're open to even having this kind of conversation because we're we're kind of going to the to the deep end of the pool today. Yep. Yeah, we're not, <laughs> we just <laughs> we, jumped in. No, yeah, exactly. We're not sitting on the side just like batting our feet around, you know, and sitting on the edge of the pool. No, we're we're going to the deep end of the pool. Um, so thank you for swimming with me on yes. the deep end of the pool. It's kind of where I tend to yeah. go. Um, so I think you know, there's a lot of different ways to get at it. I I just um, I just think that you probably don't give yourself enough credit or maybe even understand who it is that you are and and what it is about you Hmm. that you've done this yeah i've always been quiet and reserved and more on the shy end i didn't do a lot i just did my thing and just you know i'll just blend in over here and i'm just perfectly happy with that and but i watch everything i see everything i notice everything i'm just very observant to my surroundings what's going on what people are doing and i don't i just always picked up on that and it's just something that's in me and then as I'm getting older I'm like you know I've been doing my career for over 20 plus years I like it and I don't but I always felt you know, there's something else in me that I need to do and okay. I got to figure it out I used to always hate doing public speaking or talking in front of me and co-workers I enjoy it now really and I can't sit still when I do it I have to get up and walk around <laughs> wow I, why, why I, do you I, think I, that is I don't I I feel I'm more engaging that way instead of just standing, like doing a lecture and walking about. And I just did it recently, a couple of weeks ago, with a, we had all the, a couple of managers, a well, group of managers got together and did a little summit. And nobody wanted to volunteer for one of the speeches, so I raised my hand and the other guy looked at me and they thought, are you having a seizure? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was nice. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, he goes, you don't volunteer for anything. I'm like, well, that's true, I don't. I stay in my realm, but I give out all the answers. So this one, I said, oh, I'll do it because nobody else wants to do it. I know this, and I can do it. There's no problem. So I started doing it. And the one boss, she looked at me. She goes, I'm surprised you can read that far away because <laughs> we had it up on a slide. I said, no, I, can, I don't really need to read it. I know what's in my head, and I know what i got to say. Right. But I, I started, kept walking around, and they're all looking at me, but I kept the whole room engaged. As I was talking to each person, they all felt, all right, everybody got a little bit more out of it. And I enjoyed it. It just so... Well, I'm going to guess that you enjoy being connecting, uh, connecting to people. Uh, yeah, some points it is. And other mm-hmm. times I get the introvert in me to work, just, all right, I'm going to hide in my corner, leave me alone. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> I need my world. <laughs> right. Well, I think that's part of right. the part of us that, like, you know, tells us all the negative things about ourselves. You know, yeah. the limiting things about ourselves mm-hmm. is what kind of kicks yeah, in. I do that. I, that's more of a decompress because I get just, if I'm in a, too many, um, crowded or too many people at one time and for a lengthy time i just need to go back and chill out a little bit and and this brings me back down and Mm -hmm. the thoughts that ever run through my head is just all right i'm good i could talk to myself i'm fine (laughs) right right (laughs) well and and, and there's i think other people have words for that like grounding they call it getting grounded (laughs) uh isn't not in a bad way when we were kids but just kind of grounding ourselves and grounding our energy um i'm gonna offer you something to think about okay because uh it's just this is just Terry's vantage point and take with it and do with it what you will or do nothing with it uh, and leave it on the border when you go back and cross the border <laughs> is that when you said that when you were presenting to the group and, and that you feel that you need to walk around and you felt that that was about actually um, engaging with people, like mm-hmm. part of that, I'm going to offer you a different perspective. And my, my thought was that when you were presenting you were actually like stepping into something that you could be passionate about. And something was getting triggered about that, mm-hmm. about what you're really here to be doing and yeah. what really lights up your world, mm-hmm. okay? And that the energy that comes up and around that mm-hmm. is what had you moving around and walking around the room. Because mm-hmm. my heart says, 
and I could be wrong, <laughs> <laughs> that you could be sitting in a room full of people and you could be strapped to the chair, right? <laughs> hands, hands strapped to the arms of the chair, legs tied to the legs of the chair, and you could probably not even have to look at people and you'd be able to connect with them. That's what my heart says about you. That's what my gut check says about you. Okay, you could be, I could be wrong. You could text me the material. You're way off base with that one. But um, I, think, I think that the golden nuggets are right in, this, is right in that conversation. Yeah. You know, of what you say that, you know, that you don't know what it is that, that you're, here, what may be here to do or what your grander purpose is beside mm -hmm. the normal work a day that we do, yeah. um, is the golden nuggets are going to be right there. Mm -hmm. Right there, and those times that you feel like you got to root, you got to work the room. Yeah. I'm going to take a break and say thank you to our listening audience today. Uh, you are listening to WVLP 103.1 FM and streaming live WVLP.org. Always excited to bring such great content out there. Um, so I want to go back to this conversation because yes. we're really on a button, aren't we? <laughs> So, uh, do you mind if I just do a little really light coaching with you? I'm gonna we're gonna pull out of the bottom of the pool. <laughs> Let's go a little bit back to the shell then. You can float. <laughs> you can you know do whatever you need to do. You can get out of the pool and say, Terry, I'm done with the pool. Um, so one of the first one of the first questions that we usually go to if we ask somebody if they're trying to kind of unearth what it is that they're supposed to be doing with something is, and this is a simple one, and you've probably you may have been down this road before, so um, Go with me again. Is if I ask you, tell me um, if money were of no consequence, if you had all the money that you needed and every physical need that you could ever imagine was was taken care of, then I don't. It doesn't matter how that would happen. But let's mm -hmm. say that was your reality. And I ask you, um, with that foundation, what would you really want to be doing with yourself? Is there anything that comes up for that? Um. Helping people. Helping people. You know, yeah. Because it's, um, at one other point, um, I was a board member for an organization that um, helped with, um, over in Vietnam, and it was for mothers and children who were HIV. Oh, wow. So over in the country there, it's, they're just ostrite. It's just, yeah. nobody, you have the disease, you're not allowed anywhere. They Boy. just want to throw you away like garbage. Oh. So it's very old culture, old world. But here, you know, they, the clinic that they had set up out there. So there's two gals here in Chicago that formed it. And then knowing them and then we said, hey, you know, we'll help out on the board and do fundraisers and had a guest in these fundraisers because we get different things and product from Vietnam to sell here. And so we'll be out selling scarves, purses, jewelry. Mm, okay. And you know, I didn't care. Just put a scarf on, model it, this is what's gonna look like, and poof, people are buying them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> You know, tell them, this looks good on you. This this matches your outfit. It's fantastic. Wear it. You know, or this piece of jewelry. This will look really nice. And just different ways of playing. I just enjoy doing that. But then yeah. I can tell the story that we had back in Vietnam. You know, there's they're suffering. You know, they don't have anything. But we're able to provide a certain amount of families with medication, keep them safe as long as it's there. But it also taught um, that even though you have the disease, you can still get pregnant and give birth again. And that not necessarily pass that disease along. The medication mm. is out there, but you have to follow it on a regimen. You, you know, you got to get your medications constantly. And if you, there was one woman that she had a child, the child passed away from the disease, and she did get pregnant again, and they kept treating her. And you know, she was afraid, but they kept doing the treatment. So basically, I call it, um, I flash way back to the days of when John Travolta, the boy in a plastic bubble. Yeah, I remember that movie. So... That's what it's doing to the fetus by doing the medication. It's putting that bubble oh. around. So, and when the baby was born, it was shown all signs negative, no signs of the disease. Wow. So she able to give birth, you know, and still carry on a life. But you know, you do have to do the medications and follow behind it. And the biggest thing in stigmatism on is education, and people just don't understand. They hear HIV, they hear AIDS, and it's all of a sudden, yeah, don't the, touch me, don't, right. don't drink, I can't drink out of that glass, but mm. it's not. It's, it's 1984, yeah. all over again. Yes. You know, and you share that, and that's not something that I knew about that disease, mm. or the the medications mm. or abilities. I I have to tell you, just being present as a mother, of how terrifying it must have been for nine months, carrying yeah. and not knowing and worrying and of that, of yeah. that you were bringing somebody in that was going to have a struggle. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, it's interesting to me, and I and I have to ask: Is there something about that group and that those folks being ostracized and alienated that drew you to that? That charity. Um, this with the friends, I wanted to help her. You know, what I can do to help promote that clinic and do whatever funding we can get here. Um, okay. I was able to utilize where I work in the transportation industry to get stuff. You know, shipped back and forth at a very nice rate for the oh, how handy! <laughs> and savings, <laughs> so which is huge because otherwise yeah. the girls would fly out there and then they'd be trying to lug all this back on the airplane. It's just a pain. I'm like, yeah. well, I can do a little bit different here for us. Well, that's <laughs> handy. And the company joined right in because it was a way of helping a charity. So it, right, it helps everybody. It makes everybody look good on it. But um, I just uh, once I got involved in it and started doing it, it's I just felt that's a passion. It's something I need to do and want to do. So if you were if you were independently <laughs> wealthy, that's where you'd spend more time there or other organizations. Or? Yes, organizations helping, volunteering, okay. doing, doing helping something people. good, give give good back. <laughs> well, it's this probably going to be the answer to the next question. The next question normally comes up is, um, what do you do that you find yourself in the midst of an activity, and you actually lose all sense of time? And anything else. Like you're not thinking about what you have to get at the grocery store or what tomorrow looks like or how much gas is in the gas tank. What, what is it that you do that you lose yourself completely? Uh, it could be anything. When I get involved in something, I just motor into it and I can sit in a crowd and not hear the crowd because I'm so focused on what I'm doing and I just motor through it. And I Got do it at work. At times I forget what I'm, I just lose track of time. I'm just so busy doing something and I'm into it, I'm enjoying it, and it could be anywhere. And it's just my mind just works that way. I have a way of turning the outside noise off. I'll hear if I need to hear, but for the most part, I can just turn it off. <laughs> well, that's handy. That's a gift. <laughs> that's a gift. Uh, that and that's wonderful yeah. stuff. That, I love. I just love it. I mean, it's a it. it so many people, and I know you know, because we're mm -hmm. all out in the world in the same communities. But uh, so many people don't even have the the passion or the desire to help anyone outside of their own, you know, yeah. their own families and things. So the fact that you have that, the fact that you're so in touch with that is pretty profound mm -hmm. and that you actually get up and do something with that is mm -hmm. very profound. Oh, thank you. It's yeah. <laughs> you're welcome. Again, to me it just <laughs> Just part, of, part of my day in yes, natural. Say it's, I was going to say, it's like breathing to you. Yes. It's like sitting in the car at 5 a.m. Yeah. Posting this really neat thing that all these people are going to be connected to. I um, am very excited to see where this leads you. I am going to hope and I'm going to request, so I'm putting it out there now so everyone sees there's some accountability for Don, that as this starts to open up for you, because my gut check says some things are going to be rumbling up for you now that we've had this this exchange today yes. um that you give me the privilege of kind of knowing and watching that unfold for you i'd be very happy to do that not oh. to do it <laughs> good good and thank you to listeners because now we have accountability yes because <laughs> <laughs> he's telling us he's going to do this with me yeah. um and I'd love to offer offer any any support or guidance or uh, perspective. Sometimes we just need to kick something out to somebody who sees things a little bit differently. Yep. Uh, would love to help and watch. I, would, I definitely will do that. Oh yay! <laughs> <laughs> well, now is this yeah. not a good afternoon to yeah. spend together? Because yeah. I, you know, and it's it's a, it's partly selfish. I'll be honest. Mm -hmm. You know, you. What I know is what what you put out. Uh, to the community with your Facebook posts and the response that you get back, feed your soul. Hmm. So when I say to you, avail yourself to me and share your hmm. journey with me, hmm. it's to feed Terry's soul. Yes. So there's a win-win. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so let's put this out here. Let's just, we're going to put it out in words and reality that um, I want to reconvene. So there's going to be the time, and I'm going, to, I'm going to put this on your shoulders. As you start to grow and evolve and watch some things expand for yourself, no pressure, by the way, <laughs> right? There's going to be a day you're going to wake up and you go, oh my gosh, I need to get back with Terry, and I need to tell her where we've come from that first interview to today. And I, it doesn't matter to me. I don't know how quickly you move. That could be two months, ten months, two years from now. Yeah. There's going to be a place that it's such a different conversation and such a bigger conversation than what brought us together mm. um, 
that let's take another time and sit back and catch up and see where things have brought you. Yep, I, that's a great idea because it's uh, something I, I know I, have, I need to do something. I want to do something, I'm not sure. So, you know, I've been looking at changing my job, so it's things, a lot of change in there. That, mm-hmm. And this could be something that I could push myself into doing something more that I want to do. And, it, and I don't know, it's going to be fun fun to reconvene because yes. what, okay, so here's what I know, <laughs> and this again from working with with hundreds of people, is that when you start to, oh, and my goodness gracious, have you not already done it? When you start shifting one part of your life, other other things start falling into place and falling mm. in suit. So uh, here you go. You did it with the weight loss, right? So yeah. you say, you just decided one day the, the belt was a little too tight. You weren't comfortable in your own body. You weren't living the type of life that you wanted, and you took on your weight. And out of that comes this really nifty, wonderful, gracious conversation expressing, just starting to express mm. part of who you are. And so as you continue to explore that, which I know you're going to do, um, what you'll find is that that whole thing about you know shifting your occupation and other things that, that may need to level up a bit are just going to happen as a natural result of that. So when you start to hunker down and go, well, yeah, yeah, what would I do? Am I going to blog? Am I going to video it like Terry? Am I going to do it audio? Am I going to do it in writing? However that happens, when you start to do it, everything else is, all of a sudden you're going to be going, wow, goodness gracious, who'd have thought I would have landed here in this domain of my life? Yeah. So it sounds like you've got the physical all wrapped up. You've got a great program that's working for you. It's it's created a transformational experience for you on a physical level, and you've got wonderful things in place. And I'll say, you've got wonderful things in place, not because there's anything wrong about you or bad or needed to be fixed or corrected. You're doing the things that you're doing for yourself at a place of loving you. Yep. <laughs> and that I'm very connected to. Mm. That's the kind of place that'll keep all that in motion. So now what, what's going to happen is you're going to go out there and start exploring how do I contribute more to others. Yeah. And how cool this is going to be when you crack open <laughs> that mind and we start seeing what's yeah. in between your ears. Because there's mm. my, my gut check is that the, you've got some profound, I'm going to call it content, Got some profound content and value up in there, <laughs> and it's not even started to trickle out. <laughs> but how cool that's going to be! Yeah, it can it'll be a fun journey. <laughs> I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and how how excited and and um, honored I am yes. that you're going to share that with me. Yeah. Well, I thank you so much for you know, for reaching out. Just didn't know each other. You know, oh. Hit me up on Facebook, and I'm looking. I'm like, okay, we've got a few mutual friends, and oh, she looks nice. I'll just okay, I'll friend. <laughs> <laughs> she looks safe. And then oh, when yeah, you that's did right. reach out and sent me that random note yeah. and said, would I be interested? I'm like, wow. I, did, I didn't really know what to think. I was like, you know, kind of like, am I making that much of an impact? Am I, is it? I don't know. It's not what I had thought of, not even anything remotely thought of, and now I've thought of it more. <laughs> yeah, and I, and I think you are making a profound impact. Mm. And I think it's more than you see, more than you know. And I think that what a nifty place that we've been in this last hour because now I didn't see that all this was going to be coming out of it (laughs) and I don't think you did either so (laughs) I'm excited to see where it goes and we will definitely be talking to Don again in the future when we see where all this starts taking him and other people Um, thank you everyone Uh, you've been listening to WVLP 103.1 FM streaming live at WVLP.org also want to thank a big Put a big thank you out to our show's sponsor. Uh, Today's show is brought to you by Ryan Eberhart from Diamond Residential Mortgage. Ryan brings an unparalleled knowledge and service to the business of getting your mortgage. He truly does care about his clients. He takes time to educate people and make sure that they understand all of the options available. He wants them to make the best decisions for their lives and their families and their wallets. Ryan's office is conveniently located on Route 30 at 350 Morthland Drive in Valparaiso, and you can reach him at area code 219-707-8429. Thank you again to Ryan and Diamond Residential for supporting WBLP Community Radio. Everyone have a wonderful week. We'll see you again. Bye-bye.